Hey guys, welcome to Season 5, Episode 1 of Prison Break. This is the final season of Prison Break, and it is a quick one. Guys, we only got nine episodes of this. So, and a little note to keep in your brains. Uh, season 4 was originally the finale, the final season. It came out in 2009. This season is now the final season. Let's see, see, because of math, because of math and the definition of finales, this is now the final season. And not only that, our, our bonus final season. There we go for those who, it's a bonus season. <laughs> um, not only that, this season came out in 2017. I don't think I've ever seen a show do that, ever. At least one that I've watched. You're gonna go 2000, what, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you're gonna wait like eight years. And here's another season. I'm also typically not a fan of shows ending and coming back. I think that's a bad idea. If you end, I think you should end unless you were like canceled like really quickly like in one season or two season. Like there are very few shows that I think you can actually revamp and come back from um, that end. Like typically if shows end, you should stay ended. And that's not talking about any of the ones that like I just said that are like canceled and you get like one season and then they end on like a, uh, like what? <laughs> Those shows, yeah, come back. Um, anyways, like Terra Nova. Terra Nova. Terra Nova is a show that should come back. Here we go. I make my choice. I don't regret it. We're free now. We're free. I died seven years ago. Left behind a brother, a wife, a son. The what? With you. Oh, that's a little creepy. Reaching out. Fox River Penitentiary, Illinois, present day. Oh, God. Still tight as scales on a snake. I could gum, three pieces. How about you keep that? <laughs> what you bring in, you bring out. <laughs> One last piece of correspondence. That's so wrong. If someone like him can get out, that's so wrong. Which I know it's possible, it's just wrong. Oh god, everyone looks so older now. <laughs> Damn, what are you doing now? I'm gonna open you up. Why would you open him up? It's not like he has the money inside. <laughs> Ain't that right, Chloe? It not appear to be the same with you. Look at you all backslid. You're supposed to be going up in the world as the age, or did you not get the memo? Seems fate has deigned to join us at the hip once again, despite our mutual contempt. I love that these two are in Arrowverse, too. Yeah. If you were playing me, I'll kill you. <laughs> Take a look at that postmark on that. I may be a sophisticated, but not so sophisticated as to force something like that. What angle could I possibly have in coming here and telling you that it looks like your brother might just be alive? Of course he is. really quick. It's impossible. That's what I thought. Why do you send it to you? Again, what I thought. I'm trying to work with you here. Is there any possible way your brother could have survived? Like you care. My brother's dead. Get out. <laughs> Please let me take my rightful correspondence. 
I knew you'd be the same obstinate son of a biatch you always been. But I'd hope you seen the light, but you are what you is and you is what you are. He's clearly alive. Obviously. See, see, there's details in everything. Them, they're gonna come back. Why did, why, why even look at them? Why even notice them? Why, you know? And that was just a tiny detail, or an obvious detail. At least for me. See, I think they were trying to play it off as being paranoid. I think those I two think people are going to come back. Come it's the, the tiny details. I, mean, I, f I figured I, I get it. He hates me for marrying someone other than his brother. Oh. Someone's got a sixth sense of you. I think it's pretty I'm funny. Not to be true. <laughs> your brother. Massive hole that leaves in your life. Lincoln Burroughs. We all Jacob. know he's alive. I haven't seen you in what? Three, four years? Yeah. Uncle Lincoln! Yeah, I've been telling him stories about being down there before we came back to the States. You've become kind of like a mythological hero to him. Let me get some beers. I want to know what you've been up to. Sure. Damn, so he's seven. Okay. I want you to go wash Six up. Six and a half? Okay? Maybe? And then know. you can catch up with your uncle. He doesn't just mythologize you, he mythologizes Michael, too. It's like someone thinking he was born to a god. God is never mad. They are gods when you talk. He wasn't here. <laughs> Sir. How do you explain that? Honestly. Explain it, Sarah. Come on, go ahead. Explain it. We all, we all know it just because it's a TV show, he's definitely alive because you gotta he brought it back the after source? this one. This came from T-Bag. What the hell? Prosthetic research. What? Smart girl here, Sarah. She's right. I'm just desperate to see her face. My life's been a mess ever since you left. Falling back into my old ways. Something you wouldn't tolerate. But I got good in me, Michael. Oh my god. They messed up. I got good in me. I just noticed it. It'd just be nice. They messed up. You were here to. Oh no. Find it. <laughs> His grave said 2005 at the end of season four. And this is not even the same location, so they must have put it somewhere else. Maybe they put another one out there, but why would... The, they still messed up on the date. 2005 and 2010? Oh, we just randomly lived five years extra? His, his voice sounds deeper. If this has anything to do with that special envelope I received in the prison. I know prison. nothing about an envelope. Prison. Using the brain to manipulate prosthesis as it were a natural limb. But oh. as with any cutting edge work, Damn, that's, yeah, funding oh, is not easy that's to find. Advanced. And Can yet, you even do that incredibly, now? I got the grant in the form of a considerable anonymous grant on one condition. Robotic arms. The first recipient of my procedure is you. With a fully articulate prosthetic, operationally indistinguishable from a real hand. <laughs> All of this because of an anonymous donor. Someone seems to have plans for both of us. I've reserved an operational lab for Monday, if you decide you're interested. I assume they got the body back, because he died in the prison, right? So they could have just gotten the body. So they had to have seen his body when they put him in the... What, but none of that was shown on... That's clearly not a body. <laughs> yeah, I saw the rope. Oh my god. I've only seen two mistakes this show's made. The first one, people just brushed off, but they don't really. They don't realize that shows are visual. Those people who were brushing it off, they're like, it's a visual thing. You can't just inexcuse it. Oh yeah, this happened. That's some 
technology right there. You're very lucky you shot out of the car. Holy. Wild. That's the same guy. See, I'm telling, I knew he was gonna show back up. I dug up Michael's grave. He's not in it. What? Sarah mm. someone just tried to kill me. They've been watching, they've been watching practice. Who tried to kill you? What color was the pickup? Black. Why? Sir. Jacob. Yeah? Find one of the pictures on the brick wall. There's a hole and there's a gun in it. I need you to get it. Mm. What? Right now, right now, someone's coming for us. Oh. Mike! Sarah? What's going on, Sarah? This poor guy. <laughs> oh, She's scary. <laughs> God, dude, point the gun straight. He's like... <laughs> Okay, so they're not trying to kill him? <laughs> she's not here. She's not here to kill you. That's a good sign. We know people like this don't shoot people in the very, very low leg. Come on. Or does she shoot him in the knee? It doesn't matter. She shot him other than up here. She's not trying to kill you. <laughs> But the other guy was totally trying to kill Lincoln. Put this through them and you will not be harmed. You understand? I'm, I, I, of course, he definitely wasn't the target, so I guess that also makes sense. <laughs> How you doing, Mikey? Something's happening, isn't it? First you come, and that person came in our house. Hmm? Has something to do with my real father, doesn't it? No. Why do you say that? Because I can see it in her face. She's a, because he's a smart kid. Right, look, leaving them is exactly the wrong thing for me to do right now. Yeah? It's ready to see you. One second. Oh, Michael's been in Yemen this whole time. Okay, yeah, Yemen. Wasn't. You don't know a damn thing about Yemen. <laughs> Yemen is not a place does. you really want to go, I don't think. See you, Mike. Well, I guess it's mainly the waters. They got pirates. <laughs> Arr. Not those kind of pirates. <laughs> what? I envy you. Changed your life around. Man gets tired of living a profligate life. So I took up jihad. Interesting. Real jihad, not that madness that you see on the news. I mean, we're uh, we're small here, but we do what we can to help the peace efforts. In that's so cool that he's here. Working on anti-radicalization campaigns here at home. I mean, that's for heavy hitters, political prisoners. In Yemen, it doesn't come any worse. <laughs> and do you know what it would take to stage a death? Not to mention keeping a man who's not dead under the radar for seven years. No, you ask me, that photo's legit. Then that's the building my brother's in. Easiest way to find out is to call a prison and ask. Mm. Mafia Michael Schofield. Your brother's intake photo from the Fox River Penitentiary. Oh, that's sketchy. Here's his DMV photo. That's sketchy. And here's a photo from his old workplace website. <laughs> that's so sketchy. Him. None of them are. Someone's erasing them from history. I'm saying you need to look at all of the possibilities before you walk into a war zone. Why would he fake his own death? Why? Especially in that scenario. It cannot be done without a general anesthetic. Oh, I've done it before, friend. And look what it got you. <sighs> you do anything untoward to me while I'm under an You are the last man I run afoul of. Is that what he was? Buried in. <laughs> oh! Oh! What the hell was that for? Us? Great. What the 
hell are you doing here? Yeah! Someone told me what's going on. You tell you to talk me out of it? No. I'm coming with you. You're not coming. Michael's my best friend. This is the Middle East. Let's change. I'm an international hater now. A record tour. I don't think that means what you think it means. Don't speak to me like I don't know French. I know French, and I'm brown. That's something. I'll fit in better over there than you will, Snowflake. People with legal connections that can get us inside of that prison. Progress. Hold on. You're not saying he gets to go. He's not any brother than I am. Ah, but Santa Ticala Marabi. Huh? Oh. Oh. No? I managed to pick up a little Arabic while I was serving in Iraq. Wait, he's got it. Everyone's got it. Listen, go. man. There's gonna be a time I'm gonna need you. He really can't come. You better find him. You better call me when you do. Oh, this oh. better not be his only part of this season. That would make me so. You really got contacts? Well, we want him utterly and irrevocably gone from this world. But no amount of digging will bring him back. Dude, what's wrong with your ear? Jihad fight. <laughs> Welcome to the Civil War. Welcome to Yemen. It's the traitor. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez. It can be very dangerous. You never know who's enemies, who's friends. This isn't the address. I get cigarettes. No, no, you don't. You, you can grab your bag. Get out. Yeah, get. Don't go. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, I thought the other guy was trying to be like, hey, I'm here for you. But we just missed them, so, like. Or did you breathe? from the U.S. prison system, bitches. <laughs> what is it? God. Set us up. Come quickly. Or we'll all be dead. Whoever set you up couldn't have set you up. Oh my God. She, that is her. I love her. Sheba, this is Lincoln. Lincoln? <laughs> cool. Very action-packed start. Every time I see, see countries like that, I'm so thankful I was born in this one. Because that would be horrendous to live in. I feel terrible. You've been made whole, Mr. Bedba. Well, no, I mean... You're free to yeah. go. I feel terrible for them. That's who your benefactor is, Mr. Bagwell. Nobody. That's so sketchy. Keneal owed it. Keneal? Or Canel? <clears throat> I know it is not ideal, but ideas as of right now are history in Yemen. Don't. You cannot get out of the country without a passport. Don't You're stuck here. So... <laughs> that sounded like Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Michael Schofield. No. It was a scam to get my passport. Oma's one of my most trusted operators. Listen, lady, trust doesn't seem to mean a whole lot in this country. Give yeah. me a second, okay? I'll figure out a way to work this What thing. about the name in the and jacket? The, the one that they sent to you? It says, yes, the man in the picture is here, and we can see him, but only because we're dealing with Shiba. Why'd you say that name? It was in my brother's jacket. Thought we were on the right side of God on this. Shiba, I hate Shiba. Wait, what does that mean? 
Kanye Wilde is, is a big time terrorist. They got him in here for murder. A terrorist? Trying to take down the government. Come on, see. He's a terrorist. Yeah, right. Well, whoever he is. Brilliant. Schofield. It's like a storm. There he is. Grab the camera. One proof he's alive. And he would show up in your life out of the clear blue sky. And then he would disappear just as quickly. The storms, they can come back, can't they? Mm -hmm. The question is if they come back, is it the same storm? That's nice. Or something changed. Dude's been in this prison for seven years. I know. Oh. It does. What do you mean new? episodes left now <laughs> it's gonna be fast so very interesting very interesting start and that was um oh my god what's her name uh eve eve from lucifer yes um i've always liked her she's really cool well i don't know if she's really cool i've never met her in person <laughs> but i liked her in that show so I'm sure I'll like her here. He's like a big time terrorist. Yeah. Michael Schofield is a big time terrorist. I want to know what his play is. Obviously, he's trying to keep up an appearance. He's been there for so long. All right, season five. We have eight episodes left. <laughs> Just like that. As soon as we start it, we're like, oh, we're almost done. Uh, so, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I'll see y'all next time.